Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rose and I make fragrance videos. And today I want to talk to you about my top 10 women's fragrances for the winter time. And yeah, so if you're interested, let's just jump right into it. So let's start this video by a really popular fragrance that I have came to absolutely love. And it is Burning Cherry Love Fest by Kayali. And this fragrance, like, come on. This is, this is just heaven. Like in the cold months, mm, that juicy, a bit boozy cherry, sweet, almost a bit like a liquor to me. Then you get that praline note, you get some wood, Palo Santo wood. It's sweet, it's syrupy, it's beautiful. Oh my God, like I love this one. This is sexy, this is a dark cherry fragrance. Like, you could really wear this well on a date for going out. But also, you know, I just like to wear this to chill at home because I just absolutely love the scent. It's so intoxicating, like you just want to keep smelling it. It's sweet, it has that lovely praline note. It actually smells a little bit like Mon Chéri to me. If you know that, that's like a praline with a cherry liquor. And that's to me basically what this smells like. It's just delicious, delicious. And I like the bottle as well so love this one. Oh, one thing I know that people sometimes complain about longevity with this one and I wouldn't say it's like the longest lasting it's true but what I have realized is that it lasts very well on clothes if I spray this on clothes I can smell the next day so keep that in mind if you're interested in this fragrance. Yeah. Second fragrance is one that I often see people recommending for the summer actually but honestly for me it's much better for the winter it is Ilang in Gold by M. Mikalev and this one it smells like a tropical island like oh my god mm. it's just amazing this one, you know, if you want to feel like you're on holiday, if you want to feel like you're on a tropical island, it's really cold outside, you know, you want to feel warm, you want to feel sexy, you want to feel like you're at the beach at like an expensive resort or something. It smells tropical, you know, you have that beautiful ylang ylang, tropical flowers, tropical fruits, vanilla. It also smells a little bit like banana to me, even though that's not listed. But I've heard other people say this as well, and I would totally agree. It smells like banana and a little bit desserty as well, like some kind of custard, vanilla kind of thing. But then it also has those beautiful ylang ylang tropical flowers. Just a really, really nice mixture, and the bottle is gold, guys. Like, it is amazing. I love it. Third fragrance in my list is Musque Noir Rose by Narciso Rodriguez and I think this also came out this year, didn't it? I think so. Um, but this fragrance, guys, oh my god. Oh. Mm, it's so good. It's like one of my favorite favorites from Narciso. This is amazing for the fall and winter. This is a really beautiful deep rose velvety juicy plum you get some really elegant vanilla you get some nice rose it's a very very classy scent i think it's on the mature side not in the sense of like old but you know like just over 25 or something like that it smells classy it smells very sexy it's deep and it's intense but it's not too sweet you know i don't really love syrupy fragrances necessarily but this one is, it has depth, but without being too sweet, you know? So I think this is a really, really nice one. And I pretty much always feel like wearing this. I absolutely love it. Next fragrance I have is a very famous, very popular one. Uh, it is Black Opium by Yves Saint Laurent. And I think people kind of have the different opinions on this. Some people love it, some people hate it. I personally really, really like it. I think it's very well done. To me, this is just, this is a very sweet fragrance. This is very heavy, strong, sweet, 
deep, but it doesn't, I don't find it annoying. Like I get annoyed by fragrances that are sometimes too heavy, too sweet, too syrupy. I'm not into that. But this one, I find like, I can almost always wear this. It doesn't annoy me, you know? It smells really just very balanced. The white flowers, you have the vanilla, you have the coffee note, which I, by the way, I definitely get a coffee note with this one. It's just very creamy, well-balanced, very, just very easy to wear. Like this is such an easy grab kind of fragrance. If you like that DNA, if you like sweet fragrances, white florals, coffee, vanilla kind of thing. I think this is such a beautiful one. For me, this is, like I said before, more of a cozy fragrance rather than like a party fragrance as uh, like it's advertised. For me, this is more like a cafe kind of scent, you know, like a chill, chilling with friends, going to the coffee shop kind of fragrance. But I think it's super easy to wear, especially in the cold months, cozy, warming. I really like it. Next fragrance I also already reviewed for you guys and it's Sconda Le Parfum by Jean Paul Gaultier. And this fragrance is another very elegant one to me. It's super smooth, silky. Like if silk smells like something, this would smell like that, like a beige silk. I don't know, this is the image I get with this one. It's just very classy. It has that vanilla. I do see it more in the winter time, but it is not heavy, you know? It's not so deep and warm to me, it's rather light. Meaning like it's kind of airy, you know, silky. You get that vanilla, you get the caramel note, a bit of a salty note. And this one is similar to um, Hypnotic Poison by Dior. Uh, but I find this a little bit lighter, a little bit fresher. And yeah, I would say like the, the Dior is just a little bit heavier to, to my nose anyway. This fragrance I can see very well, like dressed up, going to the theater going to some kind of event that's a bit more fancy or something um, because I think it has that classy vibe, you know? But it can also be casual or even to the office because I don't think it's an offensive fragrance, you know? It is, it is pretty strong, but I don't find it overwhelming or anything like that. So I think this is a really, really good one. Next fragrance is one that I only recently tried out and it's Xerjov by... No, it is Lyra by Xerjov. I just have this little sample here and I'm actually wearing it right now. And this one, guys, oh my God, it really is as good as people are saying. This is a nice one, I have to, I have to buy this one. Um, mm, oh my God, it's so good. It's, ah, oh, it really makes you smile. Like it brings you comfort, it makes you happy, it makes you feel feminine, but also cozy and, you know, comforted. Oh my God is just amazing like especially now for the Christmas time like this might be the fragrance I'm gonna choose for Christmas I'm not really sure but definitely now I feel like wearing it all the time it's super gourmand very very sweet so you have to like sweet fragrances but this has that kind of airiness to it it has a brightness it has some airiness um, it, it doesn't annoy me it is very sweet to me it smells like powdered sugar um, and also obviously it has that lemon note, but it's a little bit maybe more like lemon candy or also lemon pie, you know, lemon lemon cake. Like to me, it's as if you had a lemon cake, you sprinkled some actual real lemon on it, but it also has that lemon glaze, you know. Um, and then you just put a bit of powdered sugar on top as well. So it's very, very sweet, very sugary but the lemon and it really cuts through that and I think generally very sweet fragrances with lemon make it a little bit brighter you know you get that fruitiness that juiciness cuts through that sweetness a bit so but it is nevertheless obviously very very gourmand um, but it is beautiful lovely very feminine very sweet very just I don't know like when you feel bad spray this I think you'll 100% feel better it is just amazing next one is Sun by Jill Zander and this is also I think marketed more as a summer fragrance but honestly I don't really understand why because it's to me much more like like a floriental you know like floral oriental vibe sweet woody 
almost maybe a little bit incense-y or you know it just has a little bit of spiciness there some woody notes i think this is such a great fragrance this is a really affordable one but it's really really nice like i have been wearing this since i'm like 15 or something like that um and i still like it it is very sweet uh, and honestly, I don't know if I would wear it in the summer, but I think in the winter, it's super, super nice. Let me just check the notes real quick. This one has fruity notes, African orange flower, palisander rosewood, a mouthy lemon, cassis, bergamot. In the middle, it has ylang ylang, heliotrope, carnation, orris, rose, and lily of the valley. In the base, we have vanilla, benzoin, amber, tonka bean, sandalwood, musk, styrax, tobacco leaf, and patchouli. So quite a bit in there and oh, it's really nice. I think if you're looking for like a vanilla, ambery, woodsy kind of fragrance, check this one out. I think you'll not be disappointed. Next fragrance I have is Sikkim Girls by Lush. And this is another floriental fragrance. But this is quite different. This smells more natural, like most lush fragrances. So you do get that burst of white flowers, like very, very strong, very beautiful. Like you're in a botanical garden or something, you know, like it's really natural, a little bit indolic, very, very beautiful. You also get some kind of like incense, you know, it does smell quite, quite oriental. Um, I mentioned this in my other video, like the perfumer who did this was inspired by the shops in India or like the women in India, I'm not exactly sure, but when he went to India anyway, he made this perfume after and it does make sense because yeah, it has those very lush blooming white flower like in their fullest bloom and then also it has that incense, it has some vanilla. It's really beautiful. It smells very expensive to me, actually. It smells niche, definitely. Um, very interesting. I'm not always in the mood for this because it is quite heavy. And yeah, you know, you have to be in the mood for it. But when I am, I really, really love it. It is just something special. I think it's really, really great. I'm actually not 100% sure if this is still available because, you know, Lush always you know sometimes they discontinue stuff but usually it comes back like the year after or so so i'm not sure i'm not i'm not gonna lie um but yeah i really recommend this one i really really like it especially now for the fall and winter season in the summer i think it's a little bit heavy but right now it's really beautiful and now we have the last fragrance which is another one that many of you will know probably and it's pink sugar by aqualina but actually this doesn't have any brand written on it i'm not sure if it's still made by aqualina or like i don't know i feel like maybe the brand itself is now called pink sugar but i don't know don't quote me on it let me know if you know any details because i'm not really sure uh, but this fragrance is another one that is just really uplifting to me it's basically to me it smells like a candy shop like you know like that's just it's quite simple you know it smells like candy it smells like cotton candy marshmallow like fruity candy fluffy like cloudy like fluffy clouds you know like a toy store like a barbie doll store i don't know you know like a bit kind of fake candy barbie pink like yeah it's a mood you know but if i'm in the mood for this i really really enjoy it like it has a comforting um side to it i think it has something uplifting it's sweet it's candy like you know it's obviously not the most luxurious smelling kind of thing it's not exactly elegant it's more playful girly and sweet and definitely obviously very good for the younger generation but i wear it also and i think anybody can wear it if you're like 45 you can still wear this you know um my partner loves this as well i think many people really like this on me actually it's very very cheap it's like i think i bought this for like 10 ish dollars or something like that maybe 12 like it was definitely almost it was very very cheap yeah so um i really like this one i know some people don't like it but i really do so yeah so yeah guys, that was my top 10 for women for the winter. Hope you like this video, hope you like the fragrances I showed you and you found it informative or 
just entertaining or whatever you want out of this video but yeah guys thank you so much for watching i hope i see you in the next video bye guys